Yo, yo, what is up guys, Oscar here with a new video, and this is going to be discussing my post-game analysis to the Real Madrid uh, Real Betis match. I apologize for not doing a um, a, a pre-game analysis. I've just been busy the last few days and I didn't get a chance to do my pre-game analysis. Um, I did a live stream as well, and that was actually going to be the post-game analysis along with it, but um, when I reviewed the video... Um, I actually realized that there was no audio, um, and I was literally just talking and talking, and my mic was muted, so, um, that video is actually deleted, so I apologize for those who were watching me, um, and, you know, you were probably saying, you know, why aren't you, you know, why are you muted, I mean, you guys didn't let me know in the comment sections, you know, I, I know that I was getting the views, but I was not getting, um, you know, comments, so, um, let's go ahead and let's, and let's talk Real Madrid, Real Betis, um, really a solid performance, um, from both sides, offense, defense, midfield, all, all around, um, my opinion, man of the match, Vinicius Jr., and no, he did not score any goals today, but, you know, he tried, um, you know, Karim Etzema tried, Gareth Bale was non-existent, Eden Hazard wasn't given the start. Um, which was fine with me, you know, give Vinicius the start, and he actually played very well, um, almost had a few close calls, but, um, you know, just couldn't get anything done, um, Eden Hazard played the last 13 minutes, really next to nothing for, for him, in my opinion, um, Miguel Gutierrez, um, actually played very well defensively, um, I guess, you know what I say, you know, I think Real Madrid found their, you know, defensive, um, their, their defensive backside. If Dani Carvajal can stay healthy, um, I think Dani Carvajal can be on that, um, let me see, that, that right side or left side, David Alaba and Eder Militao will be the, the center back pairing, and then of course, you know, we can have, um, right now it's Miguel Gutierrez, but if we can get Ferlin Mendy back, um, from injury, then obviously I honestly think that, you know, he could be you know, that, that that right back, or, or Marcelo have the veteran experience, but um, with Miguel Gutierrez back there, um, really played really well, played very well um, where from where he needed to do, so uh, Miguel Gutierrez, um, pl you know, is the defensive player, offensively, it's all about um, Vinicius Jr., uh, even though Dani Carvajal scored the goal, there were many um, school, you know, opportunities for, for Real Madrid, but, um, Karim Benzema couldn't finish it, Gareth Bale really did next to nothing, and then the goal that was scored by Dani Carvajal was just a mistake on Betty's part, where they were in control of the ball, they turn it over, Dani Carvajal just goes in, um, and Betty's player, um, you know, really couldn't, you know, um, Can Canales couldn't stop him, and then one on one with the goalkeeper, and it was a nice goal by Dani Carvajal. So, um, really, nothing else to recap after that goal. Um, even though Real Madrid almost gave up the game, uh, Thibaut Courtois, solid as always, had incredible saves, and he actually blocked a last second attempt of because um, if it, you know, um, it was a last chance for Betis, and then Thibaut Courtois just blocked it to, to end the game. So. Um, Thibaut Courtois is also the man of the match, in my opinion. Um, really, first ever solid performance. It was an ugly win, and I think that that's how Real Madrid needs to win their games. It's, it needs to be ugly, you know, because you know I, I would like to see them high scoring, but when they're high scoring, they have you know they make mistakes. Today they had you know the, their mistakes were minimal. Um, you know, Betis were able to pressure. You know, forced Real Madrid into certain turnovers in the first half, but the second half looked very, very, you know, looked solid. Their defense looked solid. Their attack, you know, was a little bit more, you know, they pressured more with their attack. So, um, it was an ugly win, but it was a win nonetheless. Real Madrid, clean sheet. You know, Thibaut Courtois had a, you know, very great game. You know, impressive blocks, presence, impressive saves. So, let's let's see how, how Real Madrid can go. Um, they finished their first three games with seven points. Uh, let's see what happens next. International break is coming up. Man, oh man, I don't know what I'm going to do next week um, without soccer or football. 
Um, both, you know, Real Madrid and Washington aren't going to be playing. Um, speaking of Washington news, uh, there will be no Washington review or recap cause just because I was actually kind of busy, so I wasn't able to watch the game. So, uh, no Washington, um, no Washington video for tonight. I didn't even get to do that pregame and analysis or the, po you know, I'm not going to do a postgame analysis either. Um, cause I just was in and out of the game. You know, what I saw was Washington got crushed 37 to three. Really, their starters weren't active today. It was just, you know, backup guys and, and you know, guys trying to make the roster. So, you know, I'm not I'm not going to recap it. Um, if you guys, you know, if you guys want me to, then, you know, maybe I'll watch the replay. But that's totally up to you guys. Just let me know what, what you guys want me to do. But I personally, I'm not, probably, you know, unless you guys request it, I'm not going to do a Washington football team post-game analysis for the Ravens game. Um, but... Um, already, uh, uh, that'll do it for this video. Um, let me know what you guys think, thought about Real Madrid's performance uh, today. Uh, Real Madrid get the win, and they are now 2-0-1. Uh, um, you know, I'm going to start doing that. You know, I, I'm getting that idea from uh, J Sports, uh, Jason Alamillo. A uh, shout-out to him. Um, I'll put his channel uh, in the description or in the cards um, most likely in in the cards or in the um pro no description in the description, um so um that'll do it for for this video guys. Until then, keep it real. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.